Every now and again, I like to check up on Wes Anderson online to see if he's doing okay. And in the process of doing that, I stumbled upon some exciting news regarding his upcoming movie, which is set to start shooting this April in the UK. The title hasn't been publicly disclosed yet, but we do know that it'll be a darker, espionage-themed movie starring Benicio Del Toro, Michael Cera, and another main actor who has yet to be revealed. My guess is that the mystery third actor will be a young female because this upcoming movie will reportedly focus on a father-daughter relationship. If I had to guess who the mystery actor is, I'd say maybe Isabella Merced because she is Peruvian and Benicio Del Toro is Puerto Rican. The mystery third actor could also be Bill Murray because he's been reported to be in this film, but I think it's more likely that he'll be playing a supporting role rather than a leading one. Bill Murray famously has been in Wes Anderson's last nine films, but was unfortunately not in Wes Anderson's latest release, Asteroid City, due to him getting COVID. Bill was originally supposed to be in the movie, but because of his COVID, Wes Anderson gave his role to Steve Carell instead. However, in a turn of events, it turns out that after Bill Murray recovered from COVID, he actually flew to Spain to shoot a scene for the film which was then intentionally cut from the film and instead was released online. This was part of a complex meta idea that Wes Anderson had where Bill Murray would play a character who was cut from the film. But anyways, rest assured, Bill Murray will be in Wes Anderson's upcoming film. Though the official title hasn't been revealed yet, reporters from World of Real have shared that the title could potentially be called The Phoenician Scheme. Now, Phoenicia was an ancient region located in the now modern country of Lebanon, so this film could very well take place in the Middle East, which I'm really excited for because I think the Middle East is a beautiful place, and I would love to see it through the lens of a Wes Anderson film. The Phoenicians have been described to be experts in trade, seafaring, and navigation, so I'm excited to see Wes Anderson potentially taking this narrative seabound like we saw in The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou. This could be a story about a family of expert seafarers who go on a heist, hence the name The Phoenician Scheme. Or it could be about a family who embarks on a journey to reconnect with their Phoenician culture, which is unfortunately slowly fading from modern cultural existence, with the Phoenicians being long considered a lost civilization due to the lack of indigenous written records. This could be a story about reviving an extinct culture. Other than that, not much has been revealed about this project, but Wes Anderson did share that he finished writing the script for this movie back in 2023. So I would expect this movie to be released around late summer of 2025, probably following a similar release date to Asteroid City. And I would also expect a trailer for this movie to come out in late 2024. One other thing that was shared about this film was that Benicio Del Toro will apparently be in every single shot of this film, which is such a beautifully Wes Anderson thing to do, and I think it'll be very entertaining. There have been films that have done this concept before, like in Memento, Locke, and Buried, which features the main character in every single shot of the film. But those movies are different because they only had one main character, whereas in Wes Anderson's espionage movie, there will be three main leads. So it'll be very interesting and entertaining to see how Wes Anderson pulls this concept off. Speaking of entertaining, I am so excited that Michael Cera will be a part of this film, in a leading role as well. His most recent work saw him playing Alan in the Barbie movie, where I think he gave a very Michael Cera performance. So I am very intrigued to see what he will bring to this dark espionage thriller movie. Michael Cera is famously known and loved for his comedic roles, but he has starred in more serious and dramatic projects before, like Magic Magic, Life and Beth, The Familiar Stranger, and The Adults. So I believe he is very capable of holding his own as a lead in Wes Anderson's upcoming movie. Michael Cera will be sharing the spotlight with co-lead Benicio Del Toro, who is no doubt an accomplished actor who has been in many esteemed projects like Sicario, Star Wars, and The French Dispatch. I am excited to see what he does with this new role. This movie seems to be heavily focused on the idea of family, with Wes Anderson stating that, My intention was to make a particularly dark film, but while working on it, 
I'm heading in another direction, and it will probably be less dark than expected, he explained. It would be a lot about family, even more so than in Asteroid City. Wes Anderson has been my favorite director for years and has always wowed audiences with his creative and vibrant movies. But for this upcoming film, rather than taking us on a stylized and whimsical adventure, is the renowned director going in a different direction and aiming to make us cry instead. Thank you for watching my friends, I hope this video brought a smile to your face and I hope you have a wonderful day.